Last time on Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. There is one person who holds a glimmer of hope for all of us. Just shows a picture of Stefan in the middle of the desert. Are there any hot cat girls out here? Or man, I have no preference. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. So, um, you guys said quite a few things from the last episode. Apparently, one of the things is I could have killed Ike if I had brought down Laura too, and I just didn't do the math, but eh, whatever, right? <laughs> Um, another one of the things you guys have been telling me quite a bit is that that guy that I keep saying is the prince is indeed Kurth Naga, the prince of Goldoa, if I'm getting all these names correct, from the first game that we met during the, uh, ship level in Path of Radiance, so... That's good that that's all confirmed now. Story-wise, I'm not sure what I can possibly say at this point. It is really kind of convoluted by now. But, um, I have made a decision on this series, and I'm gonna handle it. Uh, we've been playing Radiant Dawn for three months now, nearing four. Actually, no, it almost, yeah, it's four months already. <laughs> so, I've been playing this game for a long time, so I have made the decision. Um, other games, especially, like, games coming up next after this, and other RPGs, like, I guess kind of how I formatted Nier and Gravity Rush, I can cut around things and... Uh, kind of make the episode shorter to the point where I can make a 50 episode or a 50 hour game or something Only around 20 something episodes with Radiant Dawn. I can't do that because 80% of the episode is just gameplay anyway So it's very difficult to do, but I'm gonna try and do it if endgame is that interesting though I'll just keep this one one episode and then make every single episode from here on out uh, two chapters worth I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I've done some tinkering around the base. Normally I do it on screen, but there's so much to look at here. Oh, hey, Harn Gotri can support up. Best friends forever. So speaking of Gotri, I've decided what I'm going to do with some of this bonus XP. I'm going to save some of it for later. But as for right now, I want to have a third tier general. I've decided this. So what we're going to do is we're going to abandon Braum and we're going to pump Gotri up to 20. He already has strength capped, so I'm not too worried about his stats being ill-suited for the task. His shoulder pads look really weird, though. Or his shoulder guards, I should say. Pads assumes that it's some sort of leathery kind of substance or cloth. And he's getting all the good stats, so... And I think I'm just gonna give him a Master Crown to watch him promote. And I also have another person in mind who is going to promote also. Alright, so he's now there. And the other person I'm going to promote is Sigrun. I really, really like Sigrun, honestly. And it sucks that she gets such a tame role in, a, in both games. Like, she doesn't even show up as a usable unit in Path of Radiance, I don't think. I don't remember, it's been a while. But, like, she's so cool looking and she looks so kind and nice, so... How can I not, you know? So we're going to give her one level of bonus XP and then give her a crown also. I'm not sure if we even have a second crown. If not, I'll just give her the amount of bonus XP required to promote her. So, works for me. All right. Uh, as far as other people that could get some possible XP, I was thinking about pumping Ranulf up to 30 so he can have the Satori sign, but I think it would be easier just to give him Paragon and... Uh, have him do a bit more in the levels. Everyone else is doing just fine, though. I'm probably going to drop Marcia because of Sigrun, though. Which isn't terrible. Not terrible at all. Everyone else is doing fine, though. So, let's promote some of these units. Hold on, I think someone else has a Satori sign, and it's not in the... Not Satori sign, uh... A Master Crown. Because I thought we had a few, but... Oh, there we go. She has one. Class change! Come on, Johnny Bravo, let's see this... He's literally just armored Johnny Bravo, like, who are we kidding ourselves? Alright, let's see what that cool third tier general looks like, because I haven't even seen one yet. <laughs> Please tell me he gets an awesome helmet. Nope. He just gets some kind of... Ooh. Yeah, he gets a... Uh... You know, that really seems to be a theme here, is... Wow. 4 plus HP, and 4 plus res, that's really nice. 
Uh, that seems to be a common theme here when units promote. They tend to give them, like, a cloth aspect to what they have and make everything gilded in gold. Exactly what they did to Titania. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, those are some stats. And he gets Luna. Oh, and he's a marshal now. Walking fortresses who, uh, whose precise attacks belly their bulk? I've never actually seen that word before. Increase vocabulary. <laughs> they wield the skill Luna. God damn it, you're like a walking Alexander, aren't you? I'm referring to Final Fantasy Alexander, though. Oh no, but he's in a really bad mood. <laughs> okay, and now for Sigrun, although I don't think we have another um, Master Crown on anyone. We have two Satori signs, but... Master crowns would be preferable. We might have one in the convoy, and I'm not checking. So, hold on. Convoy. Do we? Yes, we do have another master crown. Alright, Sigrun. I'm really happy with how everyone turned out. I was really worried at the beginning because people were saying that, uh... My... Uh, Dawn Brigade would not be able to take out the Grail Mercenaries at this point. And I was kind of getting worried about that. And while we weren't, or technically were able to take them out, I think they held fine against them. And now that we're in, uh, joining part four... Whoa, you look awesome! <laughs> I really like your look, Tanith. I like what you got going on. No luck, though, huh? All right, so she's a Seraph Knight. That's such a cool name. Why didn't they keep that around? Whoops. Peerless Airborne Knights of immense speed and skill. They employ the skill stun. Okay, so all uh, mounted units like this get stunned. Neato. Her stats aren't that bad either. They're quite good. Oh, I skipped to Nephany. <laughs> Zito, I'm not your goddamn flying unit. I'm sorry. Oh, speaking of Nephany, I also decided with her... I already managed her inventories, by the way. One thing you guys kept uh, saying... I'm not sure if I already said this earlier in the video. But one thing you guys kept saying to me over and over again was like, Hey, Zeno, you know Nolan can use crossbows? And I completely forgot, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh... Let's forge a weapon for Nephi, because I think she deserves it. You guys said that I should forge a Thunder Tome for Soren, which I can eventually. But I think Nephi really deserves a weapon right now. And I'm gonna make it a damn good one, too. I don't need to increase the weight. We're gonna add some crit on there. Add some hit. Yeah, okay, there we go. Aw, oh, don't tell me she can't hold it because she has too many spears. God damn it, Nephany. Here, I'll hand it to Tanith for now, and then she can hand it off to you. Oh, wait, we can forge more than one weapon at a time, can't we? Alright then, I guess I'll s forge Zor in a tome, too. <laughs> Oh, wow, the might, the base might on these uh, Thunder Tomes is rather low. But I can increase the crit like that. I'm not worried about Soren missing. And a Tome for Soren. Um, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now she has an L Thunder Tome for no reason. Uh, I think I pretty much equipped everyone with what they need to have. I did give Shinon the silencer and the ahar, as I'm calling it, with a weird, angry accent. Uh, Ike still has a full Eddard left, and I also handed him a storm sword that um, Tanith was holding, because I don't really intend on using Tanith either. And uh, Brahm, I'm pretty much kind of dumping. He still holds disarm, which I feel could be very useful on another unit. Uh, I haven't decided which one should get it yet, though. Uh, I don't know. That's a good one. Astrid's still perfectly usable, too, although I think she'll still get kind of doubled. I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, Gotri, you know what? You take up Disarm. Okay, then. Actually, you know what? Shinon could do some good stuff with that. Hold on. And I still have a Paragon left to give to someone. I think I'm gonna, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna give it to Ranulf, so that way he can catch up kind of quick, 
likely. He doesn't have the capacity. Oh shit, because he has Hal. Uh, okay, you know what? You can take Hal later. But for now, let's just get you up there. Okay, buddy? That's our main priority. Do Lagoos even really need Shove? Eh, Shove's useful. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue there. Also, um, in the shop, I was just looking around, and they now sell Wind Edges, Killing Edges, we discussed this before. They, yeah, they sell every single kind of weapon in the game you'll ever need. Damn. But for the moment, we are completely stocked, and we will be fine. So without further ado, let's get started on Endgame. I have no idea what's going to come in this chapter. No clue. Although I am, I have a scary feeling that... Will Daunt really be that great on Ike this chapter? Uh, I feel like since it's Endgame, I have to give him something special. Hmm. Oh, he already has Adept, actually. Did I take that off of me unhanded? I don't know how he got Adept. Uh, that's all he needs, though, really. So anyways, let's go. From pain, awakening. That is how awakening was made, from many days of pain. You know, it just, it occurs to me how hard it must be to make, like, a newer type of game. And stray from, like, traditions. <laughs> of how Meg's back there. <laughs> the Apostle's army has left the castle. All right, order all units to stand by until they encounter the enemy forces. Everyone, there is still hope for Dane. We are the key to that hope, but first we must win this battle. Oh, hey, oh, Volug! And, uh, Nyla? Is it Nyla? Nyla or Nolly? I don't remember. Why are you still here? You must return to the Apostles' army before the battle begins. The army has enough troops. I think you could use some help on your side. <laughs> I love how they're kind of, like, neutral. Raisin and Leon both fought for the people they love. I shall do the same, even if that means fighting against- Yeah, right, you guys won't hurt each other for shit. <laughs> I shall fight for Dane on your behalf. Raphael just pulls- like, pulls out a gun and starts shooting. Oh my god, that's freaking awesome! <laughs> you know, there should be a mod that just gives all the Lagoos units guns. Thank you both, but it- it means a lot to me, but are you sure? After all, this seems like a hopeless battle. It's too soon for you to give up hope. You have the Dragon Prince of Goldoa on your side. That counts for something. Kurth is the Prince of Goldoa? The shit? So he is a Lagoos. Not just a Lagoos, he's a Black Dragon. The Black Dragons are the strongest of all the Lagoos tribes. We have a chance. Yeah, I noticed the way that, um... After he showed up, basically, Tabar just looked at him and went, No, screw this, I'm not dealing with that. What the f- <laughs> If Queen Almeida's brother's a black dragon, that means the queen herself must also be Lagoos. Wow, good deduction skills, Micaiah. Seems like a complicated mess to me, just the same as a powerful ally. You're right, if we can stand our ground, there will be hope for another day. Each day that Dane survives is another day we'll have earned for it. Oh my god, that's a lot of an- okay, there's Lagoos. <laughs> Hi, Scrimmere. Onward, my brothers. Hold nothing back. We must end this battle quickly. That was a really silent roar. Whoa, that's a problem. Uh, guys, it looks like Prince Raphael is fighting for the other side. What do we do now? It is his choice. We can't do anything about it. Well, his choice or not, it makes things a lot more complicated for us. He has sided with our enemies? Has he lost his mind, my dear stupid brother? Prince, what are you doing here? What about the medallion? Weren't you just supposed to be- Leon is watching over it now. I'm sure she'll keep it safe, even though she can barely speak English and has no communication skills. Either we convince Raphael to come back to our side or we drag his unconscious backside over here. Got that. Yes, your majesty. Oh, I forgot. We still have Aina. Although we can't use her for whatever reason. Prince Kurth Naga. What will you do now? Aina, are you going to go over the other side too? I mean, please don't. It's not really fair. King Dagdisnya has expressly forbidden... 
Wait, has expressly forbidden us from choosing sides. The dragon tribe must not fight. I shall attempt to stop the prince. Do what you need to do. Just be careful out there, alright? Yes, Sir Ike. Oh, hey, it's, uh... Uh... Pegasus. Ike, you know my name very well. Uh, yeah, Pegasus Lady. Alincia, please stay back. <laughs> If a chance for a peace talk arises, I want you to meditate or mediate the whole show. I just want you to meditate in the middle of the field. I understand. Please be safe. Thanks for helping. Okay, everyone, get moving. Let's get this mess over with. Alright, time to choose our units. Don't need Kieran. Don't need Makalov. Don't need Khalil. Whoops, I can take Astrid. Don't need Donved. Shinon. Uh... Soren, Titania, Mist. Ah, oh, there's not enough room for Nephany at the moment. Hold on. Hold on. We can make room. Astrid, you're out. Janoff, you're out. Ulki, you're out. Racing, you can stay. Nephi, Har. Uh, where's Sigrun? Where are you? Sigrun. 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 Am I missing something completely? What the fuck? What? Oh, she's a- look, I feel like an idiot now, she's right there. Uh, I mean, that's still not really the most fantastic speed in the world. I feel like I could take Oscar instead of someone- well, he has enough speed to not be doubled, and I think that's the important part. I think we'll do just fine with who we have right now. Does Mist have enough healing staves? Oh, I think I forgot to equip her with some stuff. Hold on. Does anyone have a men's staff? I'm surprised that we don't. Wait, what? She has a talisman. Hold on, go back. Nope, go back. Uh, increases res. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Wait, can we actually use Lucy or is she forced upon us right now? Oh no, we can't use them. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, but one thing we do need to do... ...really quickly... <laughs> ...we need to make sure she has a men's staff. There we go. And, uh... Hmm. Yeah, we're good. Please tell me it saved all the units. Oh, it did. Thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm ready to go. Hopefully, this isn't as bad as it looks, because it looks really, really hard. Player phase. Oh, so many choices right now. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of movement. How do I zoom out? Trying to remember. I'm so good at this. Let me look at the victory conditions just once. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, conditions. Okay, defeat Ike or Ranulf dies. Sigrun dies. Okay, I'll have to look out for that. And Sigrun is... Oh, Sigrun's with us. What am I saying? I'll protect you, Sigrun. Do not worry. Oh my god, this has to be the rest of their forces entirely. Christ. I love how they put Meg on the front line. Hey guys, I'm Meg and I will I will slaughter the enemy. <laughs> oh, and there's Laura. Hello, my little coconut. And Jill, my very, very weak dragon rider. Where's everyone else? Oh, I can, where the hell is uh where the hell is he? Where the hell are my two problems on this side? Odd, oh, they're not over here. Where are they? I know they're there. Or at least they... Okay, there's Broland. There's Aaron. He's not an issue. Oh, fuck nuggets. Uh, that's not a... Uh, uh, we might be able to take him out. <laughs> that's a new word. I've never used that word before. 
Um, what the hell is that marker at the top right of the screen? What is that? Did I accidentally activate something I don't understand? What is that? I've never seen... Has this been there the whole game and I just haven't noticed? I am very confused by that. Alright, and that ends turn one. This is not going to be a short map. Between their supports and I daunting all of them? This is ridiculous. You are so strong, dude. Alright, let's see Gautry in action. I'm hoping he'll uh, proc Luna one of these times. Slowest fight of all time. <laughs> Slowest Fire Emblem fights of all time. That should be a list. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. oh wait, she's just attacking Gautry again. We're good. We're safe. All right, come on. I want to see that Luna. They can't even hurt him. This is great. And they're still going after unkillable units. I think he has a crossbow, so he can... He still doesn't do that much damage unless he procs Deadeye or crits. Because they do have some relatively high defense. Oh shit, Kurth Naga, not right now, I can't. Please don't tell me he's just gonna charge down the battlefield. I would really not appreciate that. What are his stats anyway? I need to look at his stats real quick once this turns over. Oh, that thing in the corner, it's changing. It went from one to two. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, that's how many enemies we've killed. Oh, is this not a... Is this not a kill the boss or route map? It's killed this many? Which would make this so much more fun. Because I wouldn't have to sit here for a millennia. Okay, finally we're back to player phase. So I didn't think it said that that was the victory condition, was it? No, all of them have to die. Christ, this map is going to take a century. Alright, well, might as well get started. So, yeah, there are some units that I kept uh, the animations on, mainly because I just want to see them proc things. Like, Mia still has not proc'd Astra yet, which must mean that the Astra chance is pretty low. Ugh, wait, why are you talking? Okay. Oh, all this chaos, I can barely see straight. Oh, is he going nuts? Wait, what does that mean? Oh, is he becoming feral or whatever it's called? Okay, I don't think I've seen a hard proc uh, stun, which is, I think is his skill. I think all flying units get stun at third tier, which is, I don't know, kind of boring, but still a good skill. All right, come on, Gautry. Just Luna once, I just want to see it. Please? No? Okay. We tried our hardest. Oh, what? Oh, I like how there's a bunch of cutscenes in the middle. It really makes this chapter a whole lot more fun than it is boring. Still no word from the battle. What's going on out there? I should go to my people. They may need me. Hey, just where do you think you're going? Do you think the high and mighty apostle should be traipsing around the battlefield? Hmm? Wait, who is that? What? Oh, it's just you. How dare you sneak up on me that way? Oh, is it Bastion? Is it my beautiful man, Bastion? That beauty from the Holy Guards told me to keep an eye on you, so do me a favor and sit still, will you? That doesn't sound like Bastion. That's a bit too, uh, rough. But I can't see anything from here. I'm too sure. I mean, my eyesight's too bad. I have to know how my people are faring down there. I can't bear doing nothing. Hmm, I have an idea. You, carry me to a place where I can observe the battle. <laughs> don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. Oh, wait, that's her talking. Don't give me that look. You're the one who agreed to guard me. So do your duty and obey your orders. Come on, let's get moving. Wait a minute. Is that what passes for Bjork logic these days? No wonder you lost your throat. Ow, stop that! <laughs> who is that? I can't even think of who that could be. I don't know. Unless it's, uh, no... I can't think of anyone who's just that blatantly disrespectful to a queen. Are you going to obey me, or shall I have you chase back home in a cloud of feathers? <gasps> it's asshole! Oh, come on. 
by the goddess, what have I gotten myself into? As you wish, Empress, my back is yours. <laughs> Sonaki just climbs on. She's like, this is rather nice, actually. Uh, I, I just want them to, like, have a picture of Sonaki riding on the Sala's back. Like, take me there immediately. Uh, but Sonaki, we have to go to the battlefield. Well, I want to go to Burger King at this moment. Okay, uh, Ike, you can't gain any XP, so it's useless to have you up front. Oh, sick, more cutscenes. Okay, this is keeping me from getting bored. Well, Leon, you did a fantastic job protecting that amulet. That, w that was really random. Oh, I guess depending on how many you killed, it triggers a cutscene. Or, uh, something to happen. Wait, if Sonaki's... Please tell me Sonaki's going to be a playable unit for the lo- Why? Please stop. Please. I like seeing these cutscenes, I really do, but, um, I, I don't mean Endgame is in the map Endgame, I just mean is the end of Fire Emblem. Radiant Dawn probably has one of the most slow and boring Endgames ever, besides the last map. But it seems like the end of this game is turning into, how many units can we fit on this map, even though we your console can't take it and things are starting to load too slowly. I'm gonna take a look at Kurt Naga, I haven't actually... Yeah, he's scary. Night Tide, that's a sick skill. What is that? Increases defense of- oh, that- oh. Increases defense and resistance of allied units by five. Well, that's fair. Jesus, Zahark, you stand no chance against her. Nephany, long time no see. I can't believe we became friends as quickly- I'm gonna kill all of you! I'm gonna rip out your entrails and eat them for breakfast! This is no time to dwell on our sorrow. Um, Zahar- Oh, fuck. Nephany, please, mercy. <laughs> she does not give a shit. <laughs> Holy crap. The first time she procs that skill, and it's on her own old friend. Before he can even finish his sentence. Christ, Nephi. They're strong. We can't even slow them down. Sorry, I'm turning back. Or disappearing into the nether. Works for me. Oops, I didn't mean to actually use Faye, but I accidentally did. Well, she didn't crit, so... Kind of a waste, but whatever. There we go. And a level up for Maya. My- fu fuck Maya. <laughs> Mia. <laughs> Wrong character. Oh, wow, these load times are starting to get bad. It really puzzles me as to how the design question of is our game too slow and can our game run on this console correctly never came up. All right, then. On to the next phase of nothing happening. Is that a ranged tome? Or is he putting Ike to sleep? I mean, you can. I'm not using him anyway, so... He, he has earned a good night's sleep. You should just leave him like that. My body feels like it's on fire. 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 I can hardly breathe. So this is what war feels like. I actually really like it. No, please. Don't come near me. I don't want to hurt anyone. Okay. All the Lagoos are just going nuts. This is a war that I don't think either side should have ever fought in. Lagoos just should not be in war zones. End of story. Go, Titania. None of my units have taken damage yet. I think maybe Nephi took one point of damage from someone. But so far, they're all safe. They're so strong. They are so damn strong. I really hope, like, the end of this game is kind of a victory lap. You know, I really hope I get that feeling, because I feel like I have train these units to the best of their ability, and as much as I do like challenges, at the same time, I have this just feeling like I have gone through enough. Just let me trample them all with Ike. Let me litter the battlefield with corpses from Nephanes. <laughs> yes, just a picture a thousand years in the future of tons of corpses everywhere, and Nephany and Shino just standing on top of them. And Har is just flying around in the background with an Amazon package. 
I guess you could call it Dragazon. It's okay, you can leave now. What did you say? Did somebody just call out for me? Who just called out my name? Uh, M Micaiah, what's wrong? Wait, I'm coming, I'll be right there. What? What the fuck? Micaiah, Micaiah, come, come back. What the? Wh what? One person called your name, and you don't know who it is, so you just walk off the battlefield without telling anyone. That's a great idea, Micaiah. That surely won't hold, like, that surely won't hurt the thousands of troops following you that all have morale that's purely based on your position. And the fact that you're even here. Like, no one's even... Oh my god, is that Fiora? Or Fiona? Fiona. Oh, that's gonna be funny. <laughs> Actually, it's not, because I do like Fiona. She's a really... She's an awesome character that got a bad rap. Oh god, he has a horse slayer. Titania, back the F up now. Actually, I could get Chino to take care of him. Problem solved. The best. Although I'm gonna save some of that right now. So the silencer is pretty damn broken. And we still have one that has 50 shots left. So you know what? We're just gonna use the silver bow. Or you know, we'll just use the best for now. And Deadeye proc. Wonderful. So, as soon as I take these two down, there's nothing else that can hurt us here. Aside from this dude with a sleep staff, but whatever. And the perfect unit to take this guy out is probably Sigrun. Or Sorin, either way. This is kind of like a victory lap, to be honest. Oh wait, shit. Did she not have enough for Kanto? Whoops. <laughs> uh, she'll probably be okay if I just put Ike in front of her or something. Oh wait, Ike's asleep. She'll probably be okay if I just have Gotri pick her up. Wait, Gotri can't rescue her? Is she I guess Gotri would have to be would have to carry an entire Pegasus on one hand, so that's a slightly unreasonable order if you ask me. Okay, so we're safe no matter what, so I can safely put Nephi here to guard Sigrun from any archers that may want to hurt her. Although Nephany can be put in quite a bad situation too if she's not careful. Har Christ, that poor soldier. What did he do to you? He can't even- he can't hit you, he can't damage you, he can't crit you? What are you doing to these men, Har? Do they deserve this? Probably. Yeah, they probably do. Anyways, wait, do all the have Kanto? No, they don't. Only the flying ones. There you go, Astrid. Do whatever Astrid does. Honestly, the only thing that can stop us at this point is just an unlucky crit. So, I'm quite happy with how things are going at the moment. Oh, they're starting to send out the wyverns, are they? It also means that Jill is approaching. Which I have to make sure that... Actually, I guess it doesn't matter who talks to who here. Because... Or at least, I don't think Har will quit and join the other side. We could get Jill to come over here, perhaps, but... I'd prefer just not to take the chance and not to have Har just straight up join the other side. I think it's a little too late to do the whole switch sides things now, though. So you know what? I'll do it, because I want to see the dialogue between them. Edward's not going to have any dialogue between anyone. He's like, hey, what if we just stop fighting? And everyone just stares at him like, what? What, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, those birds are getting wrecked over there. I expected them to cover us from behind, but I don't know how much I can depend on that. I mean, they'll do a fine job in the end, but I don't know how many of them will be left. Oh, they have pretty decent health bars. Is he? Oh shit, that could hurt. Oh, never mind. Nephi dodged it. <laughs> Nephi can move so fast that she can dodge lightning. That's why they call me Grease Lightning. <laughs> 
I suspect something will happen around for the 45 dead soldier mark. Or the 50 dead soldier mark. Should I send Ike back to talk with Aina? I mean, he's kind of asleep. How long is he going to be asleep for? Who's the sleep staff anyway? Did we already kill him? Or did it run out? Oh, it must have ran out or we killed him or something. Sir, I highly advise not taking on Nephi. Dear Lord, I do not want to deal with this. There's a hammer guy hidden in here somewhere, isn't there? This is probably going to be the, je the best choke point we can get up to. The thing, though, is we have to really worry about that wyvern range. So we can't have any of our squishies up here right now. Not a single one. We have to bring the best of the best. Oh, that's still not that much damage. <laughs> Nephi, once she felt, once she got that single spear in Zahark, she was just like, she's lost it now. It's too late to hold her back. She felt the bloodlust and can no longer hold back any longer. Can no longer hold back any longer? That sounds redundant. I don't like that. So, I'm gonna have to put her up here since I can't move Ike. At the moment. Wait, can this cure status effects? I forgot what the other one does. I'll try it for funsies. I know you guys told me earlier, but... Oh, wait, he doesn't have another one. Or Bliss? Oh, it changes their biorhythm. Ike is having the most wonderful dream right now. He's just in a field of Ragnals. Oh yeah, someone needs to kill this guy. Whoops. Please tell me none of these guys have fire tomes. Nope, they're all thunder. So I just have to keep Har away from them. You know, I find it interesting that there's no, uh... I mean, there, it's complex enough, but I just find it kind of... different that there's no reaver weapons in this game. I didn't really consider it or think about it till now, Sigrun, you're a god. Although I kind of wish I gave you something a bit less, uh, expensive. I am so glad I promoted you. Like, even though I like Marcia a lot, I think she's pretty cool. Pretty underrated character, in my opinion. Um... She's nowhere near that strong. She just can't stand up to the beauty and wonderfulness of Sigrun. One thing I probably should have considered is there's the guy right here with Bolting. And L Thunder, so that could not be fun for Gotri. Can he rescue Ike while he's asleep? Can Ike activate Daunt while he's asleep? All these questions I have no answers for. Let's find out. I probably shouldn't put him super close because I don't know how much sleep affects hit rates. They could just get a 100% hit rate on him. Well, yeah, I guess that's it since he can't dodge. Although his defense was high enough to take almost all of my units without casualties, so. What skills did I give Jill again? Can she move through people? No, she can't. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Jill against Nephi. I never thought I'd see this match up. It's kind of a weird one, seeing as how I don't think they even have a support together. I don't care who I have to fight. I'll fight until the, until the end for the glory of Dane. Jill, this was a mistake. Jill, you made a very bad mistake. Worth about 5 XP, Nephany didn't even break a sweat. 
The enemy is moving fast. We can't keep up with them. Lady Makai, I'm afraid I must pull back immediately. Uh, I probably should have given him a crossbow, shouldn't I have? Ooh, didn't actually dodge that this time. Oh, Daunt still activated. <laughs> Ike is super scary while he's sleeping. One of the soldiers is talking to another soldier, and he's like, I can't wait to kill these lagoons. And Ragnall just comes out of the trees and, like, takes his head completely off while Ike's still asleep. Um, I didn't expect Brolin to... Brolin, dude! <laughs> you attacked the wrong one, buddy. I apologize. There's really no right answer here as due to attack, but Gautry would have been the smart one. Trying to take down Shinon is not a good idea. They've got superior numbers on their side. Sorry, Makai, I'm retreating for now. No, we don't! What?! <laughs> Do you, we have to kill a hundred of you! At best, there's like 30 or 40 of us on this side. What do you mean, superior numbers? Oh, Astra, here we go. Finally. Too bad there's no one... I mean, I'm glad because I don't want the weapon to break. But too bad there's no one I can test it out on just to get the super Astra. And see the full thing because she's going to kill anyone she uses that on. But at least I see why the proc chance is so low now. All right, I'm gonna save here before this turn because our biggest threats await us, which are the Black Dragon and Edward, and they are right there. Oh boy. All right, um, how long does he have this for? I think he only should have it three more turns. I should have brought a restoration staff. I didn't think about it though. Wait, does she have a restoration staff? No, she doesn't. Okay. I, I've had no use for it so far, so. Hopefully, Aina doesn't go and do something stupid. Um, it looks like she's rearing to charge down this line. Which just frightened me quite a bit, seeing as how she doesn't... Returns all adjacent allied units to normal condition. Wait a minute. I have to get Ike over to her. Wake up, Ike. <laughs> I didn't think- I didn't think this through. It's gonna be at the end of her turn, isn't it? Shit. Oh well. We can do without him for now. Alright, so for now... Sigrun, take this guy out. Surprised they don't have any wind tomes. They have a lot of anti-Har units, but they don't have a whole lot of anti-Sigrun units. Tomahawk them all down, Har. I think Har is, is, is gonna break soon, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to make him a new weapon of some kind. And the reason I'm just kind of staying back here is because I want, um... I want- I just have to make sure that Edward does not- Oh, Tomahawk broke. I just have to make sure he does not get one of us out. Did I just trigger something or is that- Oh no, that's just the game buffering. Boy, can this game get slow when there's so many units on screen, although I don't blame it. I hope I'm not missing something. Oh, Astra. Goodbye. I, I don't think I'll ever see all of the hits unless I have them fight some super boss or something. I need to get rid of that bolting. Perhaps Shinon can do that for us. You know, I don't really care who lives and who dies, but Mia, you should live. You're not half bad, if you ask me anyway. Hey, I can't die here. I haven't had my duel at dawn yet. I don't know what that means. Is that a reference to her doing something? I don't know. Uh, Shinon. Just, just kill him, Shinon. No mercy. Oh my god, I did not do my math there. I just assumed it was Shinon so he would die. Whoops. <laughs> it's okay, though. Oh no, this is even worse now. Oh shit, I think I just doomed Astrid. I- I didn't check her canto. 
I assume that she would be able to run away. I mean, she won't be doubled on the bright side, but on the not so bright side... Oh, please don't tell me. Okay, thank goodness. She's going to be hit by two people, one of them being Aaron, so I think she might actually just be fine. I don't know yet. That is not a fun fight for you, Mist. Not one bit. I'm just gonna keep you away from everyone. Alright, so now we have two things to see. One oh no, shit, Astrid's gonna... He didn't go after Astrid? That's, uh... Weird. That's really weird, in fact. That's... astonishing. I don't know what made him do that. Is it because the hit chance on Gautry was so much higher? But that would make sense, because he can do a shit ton of damage to Astrid. And she's not that fast, either. I don't know. Hmm. Very suspicious of this. It worked! Just slap psych. I just wake- wake up. Oh, what was I doing? I was dreaming about being in a field of Ragnals. It was so beautiful, I just want to go back. Quickly sleep staff me. <laughs> Alright, so here's where we have to start worrying. Or actually, no, we don't. Is Astrid okay? Yeah, because the enemy's turn is over, so... Yeah, because the, tor the turn order is player, yellow unit, enemy, then green unit. I believe. So, Astrid's okay. Cool. Although, I Scrimir did have to transform back- what? I looked at him like two seconds ago and he had transformed back. Oh, he has the Lagoo Stone, that's why. He was actually doing a good amount of damage while transformed, but um... The issue with that being the fact that... Oh wait, shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Whoops, I was trying to get Ike to talk to her. That is completely my bad. I am so good at this game. Watch after all this, Ike can't even talk to her. It's gonna be fantastic. Well, Marcia, you can leave now. Actually, I'm gonna have you stay here so you can carry Ike if needed. All right, here's the part we're gonna save. Because we're going to have to take on the beautiful, wonderful Edward with his Tempest Blade. And I would, I, I'm probably gonna leave that up to Nephi. She is honestly the strongest unit I have. That's not Ike, because Ike hasn't promoted yet. So I guess he's actually kind of weaker than Nephi and Chino. All right, Nephi, are you ready for this? You're going to get hit by an onslaught. I I probably should re-support you with someone else, because maybe like Renal or something, if that's a possibility, because I'm not taking Brom onto the field anymore. So probably should have been thinking about that. Now Astrid can finally retreat. <laughs> not to worry about her anymore. That works out. Oh, hey, something's happening. <laughs> it would be funny if this cutscene happened while Ike was asleep. And it's like, Ike, I need you to come over here. Something's wrong with Mist. It's like, what? Uh, what? Mist, Mist, what's wrong? Oh, I bet it... I bet it's what I said back in Path of Radiance. Uh, back in Path of Radiance, I was saying that I thought the... They thought that they were immune to the medallion, but... In fact, Mist has actually been holding on to the medallion the whole time, and she is not immune whatsoever. And it's slowly, slowly corrupting her. That's what I thought was happening, and that's what I think is happening right now. Ike, my head, it hurts so much. It's the medallion. Yeah! <laughs> what do you mean? The medallion, it's calling out to me. Please, Ike, take me to the- Oh no, she's addicted. She's addicted to the medallion. Miss, talk to me. Wake up, please. Go, Ike. Get her out of here. But... 
Leave everything to us. You have to take care of Miss now. See what's going on with the medallion. I just woke up, though. <laughs> what's this light? Oh, this is how Ike promotes, isn't it? Something to do with this. Is it the medallion? She collapsed, too? I get it now. Anyone who has the spirit of order within them is affected by this light. What? The spirit of order. I don't remember this at all. To Barn, Queen Nalia, what are you two doing here? Racing collapsed suddenly. I figured I'd take him to a safe place. Raphael fell unconscious as well. I thought I'd let him rest with Leon. But then I too but then I found that she had collapsed too. And you think the medallion did this to them? Missed? Is she singing? The seal on the medallion, it's about to break. It can't be controlled anymore. My song won't work anymore. We're running out of time. What are you talking about? Call the Apostle. She must sing the Galder of Release. Hurry, before it's too late. Please, Ike, I can hear a voice inside- it's inside my head. The voice is telling me that we must not awaken the Dark God through war. A voice in your head, Mist, what is going? Hey, Mist, wake up. Olki, do you hear me? Bring the Apostle here at once. Are you sure about that? Miss is saying that she should sing the Galder of Release. She's saying that we should wake up the Dark God. The seal will break anyway. If that's the case, then you should take a chance and do on your sister and do what she says. I agree with the Hawk King. It's too late to claim the Dark God back- or call the Dark God back to sleep. It would take too long. Do you think we'll be safe if the Apostle wakes up the Dark God? Didn't we fight a major war to prevent that from happening a few years ago? I really hope that when we get around to meeting this Dark God or whatever, his name isn't just Dark God. Like, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of cheesy. Just how in Final Fantasy games and in a lot of the fantasy things, they tend to call the enemy, like, army or the enemy nation the Empire. I hate that so much. I can't stand it. Didn't we fight a major war to prevent that from happening a few years ago? I don't know, are we safe now? But I did always wonder why Hera and uh, Queen Li Lila, Lilia passed down the Galder of Release. She must have left it behind for a good reason, I'm willing to bet my life on it. It's the only chance for our survival, besides, we don't know if it'll work until we try. Alright, let's do it. I just start singing randomly to it. I, I think I can take a guess at what it is. On the twelfth day of Christmas, Ragnall got for me! I, I, I'm pretty sure that's not the song I know, but I wanted to sing. I brought the Apostle with me. A little extra baggage. How dare you call me ba- oh, him, yes. Rayson, Leon. Now, now, Tabarn, I know you're angry, but we'll work it out when this is over. Not a chance, Nassal. I hope you've said all your prayers and farewells. <laughs> I'm going to, after I break every bone in your body, I'm going to rip your wings off and feed them to you before you die, before you get to die. King Tabarn, I must ask you for your patience. This man serves under my command. You think I care, child? <laughs> well, yes, I am a child, but... This is Lagoo's matter. You should see yourself out of it very quickly. I'll explain later. Put aside your past quarrels for now. Not to repeat the King of Kilvoss, but we have more pressing issues we must attend to. Oh, and the Hawk King, don't ever call me child again. Hmm, fine. You get to live for now, Nasala. Once this is done, though, you're a corpse. So what would you have me do? I will use all the power at my disposal to help us in this. Sing the Galder of Release. I can't sing for shit. The song that was passed down from the Heron Queen to my mother, then from my mother to Mist. But if I sing that Galder before the medallion, it would awaken the Dark God. This is what my sister said. We must not awaken the Dark God with the Spirit of Chaos. We must use the Galder of Release instead. 
The seal will break if we just leave the medallion alone. Please, sing the song. Better than releasing the Dark God through war, is that it? Very well, I shall try. Yeah, hopefully that weakens it in some way, because... I would have just liked it if it was actually like Sanaki and she was just incredibly tone deaf. No, 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 no. It's like, oh God, what, why isn't it working? I don't know, I sung it correctly like hell you did. What's going on? Nothing's happening. It's not working, but why? Oh, it's the bird. Oh my God, am I gonna be right in that bird is a freaking like super God boss lagoos or whatever. A bird? A melody, a melody alone won't work. Oh, it's Micaiah. Wait, this is in the, right in the middle of enemy territory. So, why are you here? Commander Ike and the Lagoos Kings, even the Apostle is- oh, shit. I thought you'd be on the battlefield commanding the army. This just got really, really bad. Mist and the Herons collapsed because of that thing. I can hear the voice. Finally, we get to meet. I've been guided by this voice for so long, I've finally found my purpose. What does that mean, Micaiah? Galdrar consist of melody and lyrics. Without both in harmony, the songs have mere fraction of their power. Maiden of Dane, this is the only part I was taught was the melody. I do not know the lyrics. I've just been kind of ad-libbing it. The words, they are passed down through ages like a bloodline. Though time may pass, their meaning is never lost. When I heard you sing the melody, the words came to me. Micaiah, I don't understand what you're going on about. There's no way you could... So, shut up. When I heard the melody, the lyrics felt as if they poured out from deep within me. I know this song. I've known it since before I was born. I am... I am the Dark God! Oh, what the frick? Oh, who is she? She has wings on her head. Oh my god, she's tall. Good morning to you, my goddess. What has happened? A thousand years have not passed. Why am I awoken early? Indeed, my goddess, you have been asleep for 780 years. During that time, the world kept its promise to you for a mere 200 years at best. It was as you said, neither the Lagoos nor Bjork could resist the urge to fight. They are too weak. Oh, okay, so there's some kind of thing she made on, or a deal she made. I was like, hey, you guys better stop fighting, and she did something. But apparently, whatever that deal was is no longer working. Though there are 220 years left, until the thousandth year, there is no longer any need to wait. Is that so? That is your analysis? Then I shall pass down my judgment and it's, I will save them from themselves. Okay, then. Is that Micaiah's mom or something? Uh. Mist, how do you feel? Ike, you look so worried. What happened? <laughs> Where am I anyway? The last I remember, I was on the battlefield. You don't remember. I had a really horrible headache and my stomach really hurt. Then suddenly it all went away. Oh, do we not have to play the rest of the chapter? Sweet, I don't have to fight Edward. <laughs> uh, 
Rayson? Taborn, what is this place? Oh, are you alright, Rayson? Nasala, why are you here? You betrayed us again, you bastard. Just like the tiniest punch possible. That'll show you I better broke a rib cage or two. Uh, yeah, sure, if my rib cage was made out of paper. I had my reasons. I know you'll never forgive me, but I at least want you to hear me out. But it can wait. Tabarn and I will work out our problems first. You go ahead and sleep now, alright? Very well. I am glad to hear that. Start talking before I tear your arms off. Whatever my reasons, you won't forgive me. I know that. But I'm asking you to put your feelings aside for now. We're both worried about the herons, right? You spineless piece of trash. You used that line on me before, remember? And look at what forgiveness you did to my people. You live now because I chose for you to live, Nasala. Or I choose for you to live, Nasala. Once this mess gets sorted, though, I'll be wearing your beak as a trophy. Get out of my sight. Raphael and Leon are still out cold. Will they be alright? There's no need to worry. They're just not used to the spirit of chaos being so near. They'll wake up soon. Oh, it's Micaiah. Micaiah, what happened to the Dark God? Is she awake? I, I, I don't know. Probably. Oh, what the frick? I am now Satan, Micaiah. <laughs> I am not Micaiah. She's sleeping right now. Um, oh, is it the queen? Oh, is this the actual Dark God? Is that lady the Dark God? I don't know what's going on. What What are you saying? If you're not Micaiah, then where is she? I wonder where Ashera is. We must hurry and make our judgment. Wait, what are you doing? No, you must first consult with me. Don't do this. What? Ooh, CG cutscene. Yeah, they look like they're trying real hard. <laughs> How are you feeling? It's weird, but I feel great. Hmm. Like a weight's been lifted from our shoulders. But the battlefield hasn't changed a bit. And yet all the negative energy is gone. How could that be? No matter. So long as things on the battlefield go well. You're right. But what if we can end this now? What if we could? What then? War is a simple thing. What comes after? That is hard. Diplomacy is a battle that I have never known how to fight. At least you're aware of it now. Like, you used to be super blind. Oh, this guy's gonna turn black, isn't it? What is it? You think it will rain? No. Not rain. What the... What? I am beyond lost. What? But they were just... What? 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 <laughs> I don't know. Mister, are you alright? I'm, I'm as confused as shit. Yes, I'm fine. What happened, though? What was that light? I don't know, but it's very quiet outside, too quiet. I hope everyone's okay and not dead, crushed by a giant meteor. Huh, Sigurd? <laughs> so, can you tell me what's going on out there? Impossible. I can't hear anything. Either that light took my hearing, or there's nothing out there. <laughs> Actually, no one died. All the Lagoos just need hearing aids now. What do you mean? There were thousands of troops. I'll go take a look. It's time, everyone. Let's go outside. Hey, hey, Micaiah, wait. Sky is black. People are dead. Oh, it's actually a CG cutscene. I thought that was a uh, painted. <laughs> I kind of looks like a monkey. What happened? There's statues. Oh, it's much worse than that. Well, actually, it's not worse than being dead because that means that you can uh 
You can probably fix the problem. Maybe. Oh, don't tell me that means Ranulf and Skrimir. Oh, no. No, no one better touch my Skrimir. Hey! Anyone! Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Somebody, please! Somebody, please! And then everyone turned to salt. Answer me! Answer me! Is anyone here? Wow, that's the first time I've in a long while I've seen Ike so troubled. Like a lot of the time he kind of keeps a calm composure, but there he was legitimately freaking out. We're done with part three though. Only one part left, and apparently we still have about twelve chapters left or so. I'm going to skip this, because I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see all those cutscenes anyways. I might have missed uh, the ability to recruit Aina, I believe, with that, since I failed to talk to her. Which I did last time, which sucks, but whatever. You know, I missed it the first time. I'm not going to go back and change my decision to not wake up Ike. Part 4, Gods and Men. I really like that chapter. At first I was complaining like, oh, it's going to take forever. And then they cut it off short and there was all the cut scenes in the middle. That was, f I really enjoyed that actually. I take back what I said. As far as I can see and Oki can hear, it seems like we're the only ones left. Strange. What is that thing on the back of it? I've always wondered what the thing on the back of uh, Janoff's head is. Is that like a tiny hat? And what's on top of his head? I don't know. What is that? It's super weird. I never thought about it. Oh no, that's the top of his wing. Okay, then uh, what's that thing at the back of his head, though? I don't know. I think it's like a hair bun, maybe? Instead of a hat? I don't know. Strange. I guess only the strongest of us didn't wind up as statues. Anyone who was, on the who was in the building with us was safe, too, but everyone else was petrified. Wow, there are quite a few more of you flesh creatures left than I imagined. Oh, <laughs> that's that's Micaiah. Wow, I thought all of you would die. Flesh creatures left th than I... Oh, that's the same sentence. Whoops. That's good. Th maybe that means we'll stand a chance against her. What? Wh okay, whatever. Micaiah, are you feeling all right? I mean, your eyes change color and your... I'm not Micaiah. How many times do I have to tell you that? If you're not Micaiah, then who are you? I'm Yune. Oh, the bird is now Micaiah. Does that mean Micaiah's the bird? Pleased to meet you. Yune, what did you do to Micaiah? Micaiah is here with me now. She knows that you'll never save the petrified ones without me. So she let me use her body to talk to you. Alright, let me ask you this, Yune. If you don't have a body of your own, what the heck are you? I've been asleep inside the medallion for a long, long time. Longer than any of you can imagine. But the Gald, but the Galder woke me up. Laron's medallion. Are you the Dark God who is sealed inside of it? Hmm, Dark God. Dark God. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not one of those. <laughs> I'm neither holy nor base, neither angel nor devil. I am freedom, chaos, transformation, future, mystery. I am Yune. I don't care what you're called. Was it you who turned everyone into stone? No, that wasn't me. I haven't done much of anything. I just woke up, so I don't have that kind of power just yet. That was Ashera's doing. It was her judgment. Oh, so Ashera's the tall lady upon this world. Nonsense! Holy Ashera would never harm us. She protects us at all times and guides us towards the right path. You've got it all wrong, little meatling. <laughs> I am not little. Ashera is neither kind nor loving to the beings of this world. Neither is she holy nor base, angel nor devil. I know, you said this already. She is restriction, order, stability, past, certainty, restraint. Ah, so basically this is an SMT game. And you're chaos and she's law. I get it. <laughs> she is Ashera. I don't understand this shit. Tiny Ike brain can't comprehend. Why would Goddess Ashera try to destroy us? 
If anyone's going to kill us all, shouldn't it be you, the Dark God who was sealed inside the medallion? You called me a Dark God again. How would you like it if I called you a dark bag of organs? <laughs> uh, Yuri's funny. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Instead, I'll talk to you. <laughs> yes, you're the one I want to talk to. Me? Ashera has always hated me, but I like her. You've got some of her in you, so I'll talk to you. Uh, oh, okay, so you're Yune? That's right, I'm Yune. Ashera is, is order, I am chaos. We are sisters, but opposite in all things. We are linked to one another, though. When I sleep, Ash when I sleep, Ashera sleeps. When I wake, Ashera awakes. Oh, so you're uh, a goddess. I I'm so sorry. Please forget my insolence. I've been talking down to you like you're a little kid. No, no, it's fine. Talk to me however you like. You don't have to stand on ceremony with me. Well, all right, if you insist. So you were sealed inside the medallion, but you're now inside Micaiah. That's right. Bullshit makes sense, doesn't it? And the goddess Ashera was the one who turned all the Bjork and Lagoos into stone. Oh, are you here to tell us how to save them? Wait, I get it. You're the one who spoke to me. You said, wake me with the Galdra of Release, not the Spirit of War. Yes, I did. I'm so glad you understand. You're so very clever. Head pats for you. Of course, I was hoping by sending you that message, I would stop all this from happening. What, what do you mean? We're running out of time, so I'll explain quickly. Long, long ago, your ancestors made a promise to Ashera. They promised they would start no wars among all nations for at least 1,000 years. That, that's a hard promise to make. If this promise is broken, then Ashera would destroy the world and try again with a new one. Despise this promise, you bone cages kept fighting each other. Eventually, war and conflict spread throughout the world. When Ashera woke up, she cast down her judgment upon those who failed to keep her promise. I still don't understand. Would it make a difference whether you are woken up by the Galdir or Spirit of Chaos? How were you planning to stop Ashera from passing down her judgment? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> oh, by all that's... Would you stop acting like a child? Please forgive my brother, Yune. We want to save the people who were turned to stone. We need you to tell us how. It did matter that we woke you with the Galdir release, right? First of all, you should understand that because of our link, waking me is the same as waking Ashera. Now, if Ashera had been awakened by the Spirit of Chaos, none of us would be standing here right now. <laughs> By the terms of the promise, she was just supposed to destroy the world. No hesitation, no discussion. But if she was awakened by the Galdra release, she was supposed to consult with me first. She wasn't supposed to pass down her judgment until she heard from me. Ashira went ahead and turned everyone into stone without asking me. What a bitch. <laughs> That's so unfair. I'll show her, though. I'll turn them all back somehow. <laughs> so, essentially, this is... The fate of the entire world is to be decided by a very, very tall thousand-year-old god and a god that has the attention span and attitude of a nine-year-old girl. That's great, no problems. The problem is that I can't do this by myself. I will need your help, will you help me? Yeah, no, no, not at all. <laughs> of course we'll help, it's strange, but I trust you, Yune, and we all want to save the people who got turned to stone. Yes, we'll do whatever it takes. That's right. Oh, you, you guys are fine. Okay, you guys didn't get turned to stone. I thought you did. That's right. We will allow nothing to stand in our way. We will fight. It's all so confusing, but we must do everything in our power to save the people. To be honest, I spent my life teaching that the goddess Ashera watches over and protects us. But she's just a bitch, ain't she? <laughs> this is all a little hard to accept. You don't have to believe me. You could just let her destroy the world. <laughs> No, I will do whatever it takes to save the people who are turned to stone. I will join the others- I will join the others in helping you. So what you're saying is that we all have to play nice and work together, just forget about all that's happened. So open your eyes and look around. There aren't many people left to fix this mess. If you don't help, we can't do it. Besides, I want- I would think saving the world is something we could all agree on. You're right, Commander. All this is much- all this is a result of our war. I guess there's not much reason for flag-waving on either side. First thing we have to do is unpetrify everyone and, well... I, um, I'm actually kind of relieved. At least I won't have to worry about fighting you anymore. I wasn't looking forward to that matchup either. I mean, it was like 10 to- it was like a 10 to 0 matchup, but hey. 
It's settled then. How should we begin? I know, let's divide the army into three teams. I'm pretty sure that Ashera is going to notice what we're up to. Dividing us up is smart. It reduces the risk of everyone getting killed at once. We have to hurry. I can feel Ashera's power building. It's all over if we get turned to stone too. All right, everyone. It's up to us. What's your name? I'm Ike. <laughs> all right, Ike. You won't call me a dark god ever again, will you? Not if you don't like it. Can I call you Yune? I would like that. I guess I forgive you then. Oh, I know. As a sign of my forgiveness, I'll make sure that you can get your des to your destination safely. I can't do it for everyone because it's a bit exhausting for me, but hold still and close your eyes. I'm ready. Oh, here's his promotion. What's he? What the hell could he possibly promote to? Okay, I gotta see this design. I gotta see it. I wanna know what it looks like. What does it look like? What does it look like? Tell me. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. He just became a little more shiny and is actually wearing arm guards now. Except for on his right arm still. That design is freaking awesome. I like it. He's a vanguard. Oh, okay. And he gets Aether, but I have to remove something. Uh, I'd prefer just for him to have Aether in the hill if possible, because it could help him against some really strong enemies, so... I guess we'll take Daunt and uh, Depth off. Oh, but now he's not enough room in his inventory. Ike doesn't really need any other swords now that he has Ragnar. I just kind of thought about that. <laughs> It didn't really come to mind when I was looking at all the Eddards before, but yeah. How do you feel? I feel really shiny. Strong, like I can take on anyone. Wow, you're very confident for being a, for a being that can die. Let's see. You go with this team. I'm going with you. I'm not leaving your Micaiah's side. Fine, Micaiah says that's what she wants too. Let me talk to her. Not right now. <laughs> You'll have plenty of time to talk on the road, alright? Hey, you're with this team over here. Damn it. <laughs> so this is literally being treated like a child by what? Are you serious? I have to. Oh no. Oh no. I can't do this right now. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay, so at least the green units have to be there, but. Freaking! Mm. Oh, okay. So the Hawk Army's kind of screwed. <laughs> I don't know how to. Oh shit! This is too much. Um. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Because I have the Silver Army, who is currently composed of just trash units, aside from Edward, Nolan, Mackay, and Soth. I have the Grail Army, which is by far the strongest, and I feel like doesn't need all their strong units. And I have the Hawk Army, who is pretty damn bad. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't... How am I supposed- can I not divide it after this? This is- I didn't even get to save. What the frick frack? I don't know, I'm gonna end the part here. Uh, I think it saved before I got to this point, so I can always come back and, uh, look at this screen, because I've been staring for about 20 minutes, and I'm so stumped and horrified of what to do. So, uh, I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching, this episode was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed this level. And if you have any suggestions or things, leave them down in the comments. If you like the video, please leave a like. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you, and have a wonderful day while I ponder this for a week.